Hello? How you doing? How you doing? What's your name? My name's Troy Cannon. Troy Cannon? Yes. Troy, where are you calling us from? North Carolina. Just moved here. Give me that wave again because you did like this for me to, <laughs> to, to, to pick you. I want you to focus in on Kendra G when she asks the guy to give her that wave again. And he doesn't. And you see how happy Kendra G is towards this guy? Well, there's a reason why Kendra G is so happy to talk to this guy. That has everything to do with Kendra G feels like this man is gay. And we're going to be honest. Kendra G treats gay black men a whole lot better than heterosexual black men. But see, she's in for a rude awakening because she has just misjudged this black man and for many guys out there you have been misjudged also now it doesn't mean that people think that you are gay or that you don't like women or you sound too white but it's just the whole idea that you are just too soft and kendra g is about to find out that this guy came to play he's not what she's expecting now who is this guy he's his name is troy you'll find out he's 29 he's living in north carolina and he's actually looking for a woman a black woman but here's what he has to say about black women upon her finding out more information about him when was your last relationship this is um troy north carolina 29 a libra he's an author works for the government no kids when was your last relationship like my sophomore year at college like real serious one yeah wow that was years oh well, you're 29 yeah. okay um why do you when was the last time you was intimate with someone you don't have to answer i'm not going to answer that <laughs> okay why do you think you're single i would say you know i really don't know I, i'm because i'm just real focused on my career right now and i think that most women like the idea of a guy like me instead of actually being with a guy like me like i'm spontaneous and i'm nice which could come with times like if i'm the type of guy that buys you flowers every wednesday you can end up getting tired of that just because if that makes sense or if to sum it up to make an example like a woman let's say she desires to date an nba player but she complains if he's away for games and practice every two weeks but you don't want that part that comes with it but you just want the idea of being with that type of person if that makes sense okay so you're saying most women like the idea of you but they don't like the reality of a guy like you yes i can agree to that i can agree to that um all right so well why would a woman be lucky to be with you so I'm, spont I'm spontaneous i'm into skincare it's funny because i take care of myself like a female <laughs> So I'm very, very into skincare. Uh, I, I like to, you know, go to brunch and stuff like that. I'm very ambitious. I'm going to push her to do more for herself. Like I said, like I, I like women that do want more for herself. So I'll be be there to support her on her goals to make sure she's able to do for herself at all times. And yeah, like, like that. Like I, I don't want to like toot my own horn, but everybody. You know, I want to just bring this up because. And I wasn't sure either, so I put myself in this category because everything is open to our show. Um, we weren't sure if you were looking for a woman or a man. Um, what do you feel like? And, and people, and some people still do think that you might be gay. I think that's unfair. I think I, I prejudged you as well too. But have you heard that before? Yeah, but I'm not. But I'm not gay. But and but at the end of the day, like as I got older, I just like I ended up accepting who I am. Like. You know, and for example, like I, I'm from North Philly, right? So that's why I grew up. I'll get a lot of women that say that's from that environment. Oh, you're not hood enough. Or you don't have a beard. You don't do this. You don't do that. Cool. But like, for example, I have a hobby. I play polo, you know, like with the horse and you hit with the stick, whatever, mm -hmm. an elegant sport. But I run into a lot of females that play that sport or into certain elegant things. And they don't ever judge me in that way, if that makes sense. Okay. Fair enough. Do you got to be around your people? Now, let me kind of break some of those things down. What did the guy say? He said, listen, a lot of women like the idea of being with somebody like me, 
but they don't want to be around a guy like me because you know what? I'm a nice black man. I like to do romantic things. I even like to take care of myself. I like skin, uh, taking care of my skin and everything like that. But you know, they look at me as being too weak. And then she even said, well, you know what? Um, I, I didn't know what you were at first. I thought you were gay. And if you go back to the beginning, she did think she was gay because she asked for that little wave, right? Now he does have some mannerisms that we can consider to be a little feminine, but I'll get back to that in a minute. She thought he was gay. Well, what did he say? Well, look, you know, this is just me being me. You know, I grew up in North Philly. I like to do things like water polo. I like to do things, you know, that I like. And because people don't like the fact that I like nice things and I'm a pristine man, you guys think that I'm gay. <laughs> but stop the show. He's not the only person on social media that was like that, is he? Kevin Samuels was just the same. And if you guys can remember, what did everybody say about Kevin Samuels? Hmm, he's well-kept. Not everybody, but many people. He's well-kept, especially the detractors. He dresses too good. He likes perfume. He's pristine. He's sharp. He speaks very well. He articulates himself very well. He must be what? Gay. See, we need to talk about black men and black men being in a box because a lot of people want to put black men in a box. If he is not articulating himself like Minister Farrakhan or Dr. Umar Johnson, who we would say are intellectuals and very bright, that must mean the guy is gay or he likes white women or, you know, he's bisexual or he's hiding something. The reality is this is a man who has certain standards for himself and he's just being himself and your lens through black masculinity. It's just jaded. That's what it is. And a lot of ladies in black America don't want to admit it. Your lens of black masculinity is somebody who's hyper masculine, somebody who may or may not have thugs or, no, or, or tattoos, rather somebody who talks in a certain tonality. But the guy who's clean cut, the guy you say that you want, the guy you're begging guys to get God to give you like Sierra different Russell Wilson. Do you really want a man like that? Only, and this is what some guys would say, after something has went wrong with the guy of your choice. Now you want that guy. After the guy gets locked up that you're dealing with, now you want this guy. Now you want a nice guy and you really don't want him. He's a safe bet. You're probably still attracted to the first guy that you were dealing with, whoever he may be. And it's always like that for black men who don't have kids, for black men who are clean cut, for black men who carry themselves in a very professional manner, for black men who actually love black women. There's always something to be said that he's not hood enough. He's not ghetto enough. He's not man enough. He's not strong enough to be my man. And then for the person that you pick to be your man, he can't produce anything enough for you to, for him to even be in your category. And that's the problem. So many young black men like this end up going to other communities where women don't look at them as being gay at all. And I'm going to tell you where he's going to find those women. They're going to be in the white community. Let me tell you something, right? This person, uh, somebody commented on this particular episode and they said, Jose Angeles. He needs to date black women who live upper middle class lifestyle and who has traveled internationally. His issue is a clash issue, not a black issue. Some black men would respectfully disagree because I will tell you, just like Mr. Britt says, now upper class black women want to date the same man as projects chicks. And while this may not be true, um, I will I will say something like this, and this is this is what I found out when I was at Howard University. A lot of professional black women also don't want a guy like this. A lot of professional black women want a guy with some edge. They don't want a guy that they feel is corny. And I'm not saying that every black woman is the same, but I've seen enough evidence of that. And I'm not saying that I'm right about this completely, but a lot of black men have seen this, that you would see sisters. I went to college with them that were in dental school, that were in medical school, and the boyfriend was a drug dealer. NBA program, the, the, the boyfriend was trapping a rapper, a gangster, a crip. You don't know how often that does happen. And a lot of and a lot of people that shoot down guys like this are hey, a, a lot of top performing sisters. And we don't want to talk about that. And then when they get to to to, to over there to white women, then you're gonna say, well, why you didn't pick a black woman? Well, I'm not saying you can't, because you can, right? Well, we gotta be honest. Hey, it's um not a lot of African Americans in, in general that play water polo. And just because she plays water polo don't mean she like him. 
But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Job, which is your father that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Yeah, yeah.